back to News 3 today. All day long, WSAV is on your side with help if you need assistance preparing your taxes. With April 15th, a little more than two weeks away, it is crunch time. And if you haven't already filed, like I have, your mind is probably filled with questions. Whether you're searching for free tax help you can trust, trying to squeeze out some more valuable deductions, hoping to avoid penalties or audits, anxiously awaiting your refund, or if you want to make sure that you're not a victim of scams. Deborah Simmons is the director of Savannah's Neighborhood Improvement Association nonprofit and the main site for the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, also known as VITA. She joins us now with more all the things, all the questions this morning. Hopefully we have time to get everything in, but thank you so much for being here today. I know this is your busiest time of year. So I mentioned VITA. Let's talk about the program and who it's for and what you do. Uh, the program actually is an initiative program from the IRS, so they actually support this program. Mm -hmm. So they encourage people to use it. Okay. Um, and what we do is we prepare the returns for individuals who are qualified, and that's a large range. We look at low to moderate income people, um, people living in rural areas, mm -hmm. just about anyone would almost qualify. Now the IRS does have a list of out of scope um, returns that we cannot do. Okay. But for most the most part, we can do just about 95% of the people who come to us. Okay, and we're talking about Chatham County, Bryan County, Effingham County, and Liberty County. Yes. Okay, so what are some of the mistakes, the biggest mistakes that people make when they are trying to file their taxes? Uh, one is not knowing what their, their filing status is. Mm. You know, sometimes, you know, you will file, think you're supposed to file one way. Yes. But it should be a different way. Okay. And the one thing that we do in our training, which we have to do every year, is go over that and make sure we understand it. Okay. But that's, that's the biggest one that we have seen. Um, another thing is people forget to put documents on that tax mm -hmm. return. Mm -hmm. So then you have to go back in the minute return. Okay. And you mentioned, you know, you go through training every year. What's new this year in terms of tax credits and, and brackets and things of that nature? The tax credits, one is um, solar panel. That's, that's one credit. And another one is the electric cars. Mm. Those are the two big um, credits that they added this year. And you have the other credits that they had all before, like the child tax credit and okay. earned income credit. They are still there. Um, but those are the two big ones that they added this year. Now, next year, the IRS is launching a pilot program, IRS Direct File. Tell us about that. That is for people who want to file their own taxes. The IRS, the IRS does not have a program for individuals to file taxes. That direct filing is a program that's done by the IRS and you can file your own taxes online. Okay. What's the difference between, I know you get this question all the time, your W-2, 1099, and uh, 1099 NEC? <laughs> W-2 is when you work for a company, you pay Social Security, they match your Social Security and Medicare. A 1099 NEC, you as the individual will pay the Social Security and the the Medicare for both the employer and the employee. The W-2, the employer and the employee pays Social Security and Medicare. Okay. 1099, the, the taxpayer pays the Social Security and the Medicare. Okay, a lot of information. So they end up having, it end up being, most of the time they end up owing because of that um, self-employment income. Okay, we have about a minute left, but this is one of the biggest questions because it affects so many people. And we're talking about scams and not just scams from people you don't know out in the you know uh, virtual world, but actually black market tax preparers, people who set up shop, have you file your income taxes and take your money. Yes, that happens all the time. We get, we know because they go to the IRS, the IRS send them right to us. But yes, that happens all the time. The sad thing about it too is April the 15th, those people cannot be found. Wow. If there's an error with that tax return, so they end up coming to us. So people, when they're deciding who is going to do their taxes, they need to find out after April the 15th, will you be around to answer any questions mm -hmm. that I may have? Mm -hmm. So that's one of the questions they can ask. If they close on April the 15th, you need to find out, I need to go someplace where someone will be open year round. Okay, and we have have some information for folks to know on how they can get in touch with you because you have free income tax preparation going on throughout even after April after 15th. April 15th we are still open 
Okay, and then later on today, throughout our newscast, beginning with First News at 4, you'll be here with some of the other volunteers right. to answer the phone and answer your questions on what you need to do, what you should have done, what you hope to do, <laughs> and including if you're expecting a refund, you know, what you should do in terms of getting in touch with the IRS. Exactly. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I have a ton of questions, but we only got to a few. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>